So let's turn on the AC switch. Good morning, o maayong buntag sa tanan. So this is just another quick update of our grid tie solar inverter system, which unfortunately died today. So as you can see here, this is now the setup. Indicator light is always in red. So even though I have it a hard reset, let's take the here. Let's turn it off and turn it on again. It's always in red. So expectedly, this one died approximately two years so it's been two years since I had this Rita inverter and it's only after a few months before when we set up this evaporative cooler to cool down the inverter which was very much helpful but then expectedly this would <laughs> died out even after a year as previously reviewed on other channels but for me I would likely take the risk of buying a new one for that as I have already discovered how to cool it down <coughs> with the grid tie inverter and cooling it with the arctic air cooler so with that to so anticipating the since I was already anticipating the fall out of that one so I have already purchased the backup with the inverter which is of the same specs which is Y and H so let's unbox this one and replace it and the damaged one okay so let's quickly unbox this one Okay, so we have the manual. Some warranty card. The AC cable. And of course, So, this is the 1000 watt grid tie inverter that is exactly of the same specs as the other one. So, I would rather take the risk of <clears throat> putting up another one like this since we already have an idea on how to cool this thing off with the Arctic cooler. So, let's install it and serve Hello Unsa ka dere Bradex? Ano mo ko dito? So before removing this one to make sure that we have no problems with the panels let's check the voltage output coming from the solar panels by using the ever reliable one dollar voltmeter so as you can see here voltage is at 33.6 volts AC 
uh, DC rather coming from the solar panels so the panels are okay since this is the expected voltage that we get from the panels so maybe something is wrong with this inverter well it's fine because it's already running for <clears throat> almost two years okay so time to disassemble this and install the new one First, we'll remove the evaporator first. Well, let's make sure that everything is turned off. And turn off the AC breaker as well. A DC breaker. Turning off the smart plug. finally installed the new one let's check the voltage first from the panels Okay, voltage is now at 34.5 volts DC so it's all good time to test it okay so let's turn on the smart plug and let's turn on the switch at the AC side So I think this is an upgraded one since as you can see here AC indicator already has an LED which is a blue color this one so let's turn on the AC switch okay so it's now turning green so meaning it's okay and as you can see here voltage and current is already rising up so it's now at 3 point uh, 2 2.85 amperes okay so it's running good so it's time to install the cooler. Okay, so the setup is now complete. <coughs> so current is already at 1.7 amperes with 
370 watts of output power and we have already installed the temperature sensor so this one kicks in at 39 degrees it would trigger the fan and run the air cooler here so the running indicator is blinking green and it's running okay <coughs> So hopefully with the upgraded one, we'll be able to use it for, I don't know, maybe at least two years. So let's review that in the near future, okay? Okay, so that's it. So for me, I'm willing to take the risk of buying this cheap inverter again. Since we have the new way of cooling it down with the grid tie inverter by using this uh, arctic air cooler so maybe in the near future we will check on the performance and how long will it last so hopefully it will last for over a year as the expected uh, useful life for this one is already only about a year okay so if you think that this video is helpful for you then just give it a like and share it with your friends See you in the next one.